something about my uh, childhood at this point. Okay. <laughs> uh, when I was a kid, my mom always said, my mom always said that you have to eat everything from your plate. You have to eat all the food that is on your plate because there is starvation in Africa. <laughs> and then I ate. And, and then I grew a bit older and I started to think that how have I helped? <laughs> uh, the situation uh, back in Africa. I am now a bit overweight. I hope they are happy. I have done my best. Uh, according to instructions, every day just eating. I'm still expect expecting a thank you card or something. Okay. I have never been to Africa, but if I go there and they look at my belly, I will say that I did this for you. <laughs> Not very good advice from my mother. Oh, that's because I, I really I got overweight and now I've been trying to lose it uh, for years. Uh, I've tried many things. Uh, I bought a Pilates DVD. Somebody sold me a Pilates DVD. I, I watched it every day. <laughs> you won't believe the amount of popcorn and beer. <laughs> it, it has to be the most boring DVD in the whole world. <laughs> Nobody watches that sober more than twice. <laughs> It's hard to eat healthy. Uh, a friend of mine says, says that she wants to be a vegetarian. It's, everybody should be. She, she says that it's ethical to be a vegetarian, but she cannot do it. She has to eat. She said that she cannot force herself. But she wants to be ethical, so she only eats animals that are happy. <laughs> okay, but isn't that actually even more cruel? <laughs> If, if you have to eat some animal, why eat the happy fellow? <laughs> Somebody who is happily enjoying life, running around and feeds. Oh, let's kill that one. <laughs> it would be more ethical to eat somebody that's miserable who doesn't, doesn't mind. Yeah. It's hard to lose weight. I, I, I read somewhere that uh, um, drinking lots of water helps you to lose weight. And I have been drinking lots of water like this. And now it's great because you get water bottles, water is served in bottles now. And all these bottles, they have the best before date printed on the bottle. The best before date. This water has circulated the earth for four billion years. <laughs> but now it's ruined. <laughs> Over last night with the water, it's weird. Um, I don't know if drinking water helps you to lose weight. I don't know, it might, but I think the weight loss effect is based on the muscle work of holding pee in. <laughs> I've been doing that, it's like a really good exercise. <laughs> you can feel it in the neck muscles even. <laughs> Yes, English is my uh, second language, <laughs> if you haven't noticed. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, it's, yeah, it is. It, and normally I speak Finnish. It's, it's very common in Finland. <laughs> <laughs> uh, English is hard, hard for me. English has all these, it's so different kind of language. In English language has all these, you know, these silent letters. You know, you have silent letters, letters that you write down, but never say. <laughs> in, in Finnish, we don't have those. And I have a secret for you, they are unnecessary. <laughs> Nobody's gonna pronounce them, so why, why write them? So I think it's basically wasting paper. <laughs> but, but since you want to have silent letters in the language, why not also then have silent numbers? I think they would be far more useful. Like, I owe you $75, oh, but the seven is silent. <laughs> yeah, here is five. Um, it, actually, sp speaking about uh, money, it's, it's, it's the weirdest thing that all, all, all the countries in the world are now 
in, in debt, in lots of de debt, debt, debt. <laughs> uh, is there a silent letter? <laughs> There's a B, yeah, yeah. Nobody says it, but there is a B. Debt, debt, it, it, debt, it, it, yes, debt. So, yeah. so but it, it's, it's lots of, oh, lots of debt. All the countries have debt. So that's weird. Like, like it's really like there's so much debt. When you calculate it together, there's more debt in the world than there is money. <laughs> so probably it will get paid. <laughs> it's impossible. <laughs> It's weird. Like they, they, they actually, like we, how do we pay it? We have to like borrow something from another planet. <laughs> the whole Earth. Is that even possible? How all the countries can be in debt? Is that countries don't owe money to each other, but they owe money to banks? So I've been thinking, if countries owe money to banks, how stupid are the countries to pay it back? Because a country has an army. <laughs> a bank has four cashiers and a cleaning lady. <laughs> we have to pay. <laughs> they have sent us a letter. <laughs> if we don't pay now, they might send another letter. <laughs> what do we do then? We have a nuclear submarine, but they have a stapler. <laughs> it's, uh, it's weird. Like I'm sure that, for example, if, if for example, Chinggis Khan would have, like, in his time, taken like a student loan or <laughs> some borrowed from a bank, and, and then the bank comes knocking, you have to pay it back. He would have never paid it back. Like you have to pay. Well, I have ten thousand archers ready to shoot. <laughs> Do I have to pay? Uh, no. <laughs> but it will affect your credit rating. <laughs> That's weird. But I, I think the biggest cultural difference I've noticed between Finland and America is when somebody wants to insult somebody, say something bad, put somebody down, uh, they, uh, it's common to insult their mother. <laughs> Suddenly. Like, oh, your mother is a stupid person. <laughs> and people got really angry. No, 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 not her. It's weird. We, in Finland, we never do that. We, we, we never. We wouldn't even understand. If somebody would say to a Finnish person, hey, your, your mom is a, a fat idiot, we would probably be like, so where do you know her from? Hey, thanks a lot. I've been this one from Finland. Thank you. Let it hear, folks, from Finland. And again, remember, that was finalist number two from Finland, Ismo Lekola. You guys having a great time? Yes? Yeah. Oh, it's well worth it coming here. And remember, uh, people out there, please send in your tweets. Let us know how you're enjoying the show. We're reading all that stuff online right now as we speak. But we're going to continue right now with our next comedian coming to the stage, representing a different part of the country, I mean the world actually, from the United Arab Emirates. Please put your hands together for Nitsa.